Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we are going to be creating a watercolor floral Valentine's Day card all in Illustrator from scratch. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. And we're using three different colors on this as well as some watercolor florals. The watercolor florals that we're going to be using are from my watercolor leaves and florals kit. If you're new to working with digital watercolor florals, I have a free mini kit. So just hit the link in the video description and you'll have plenty of florals that you can work with and follow along through this tutorial. The font that we're using is Skinny Jeans. This is a custom hand-lettered font that I created, but of course you can use whatever font that you choose. Okay, so we are going to create a new document. I'm gonna grab these and then I'll give them to you as soon as we have our new documents. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go File, New, and we are going to create a five by seven vertical orientation greeting card. So once it's folded down the center, it'll fit in any A7 sized envelope. So this is going to be 10 inches wide. So when we fold it in half, it'll be five on each side and the height is going to be seven inches. And we are going to be applying a bleed because we have color that extends beyond the edges of the paper. So when it's trimmed down, you don't have any weird white areas. Everything will be a seamless cut because we have the color going all the way to the edge. So you wanna make sure you add a 0.125 inch bleed on all sides. And the color mode we're going to be working in is CMYK because this is intended to be printed on your home printer, which cooperates best with CMYK. Raster effects are at 300 PPI and we are good to go. So hit okay. All right, let me bring in those colors that we had and let me give them to you. So the colors that we're going to be using, this light pink, that's the color build. This is our medium pink and this is our darker pink. We want to turn on a ruler so we can drag that guideline to the center so we kind of have an idea of what we're working with. So just hit Command R, Control R, and just click on your left ruler and drag it out until you hit five inches up at the top ruler. And that's our middle point. And now we're going to create two different rectangles, um, one for each side, because as you saw right here, we've got this nice little radial gradient effect happening on the front of the card, but we just want the back of the card to be a solid color. So we're just going to grab our medium pink color. I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and I'm going to drag out one rectangle over here. Hit V on my keyboard for my selection tool, hold Alt, click and drag. While I'm dragging, I'm holding Shift and drag that to the other side. And now with this one, we are going to apply that radial gradient. So come over here to your gradient. If this isn't open, you can get to it by going Window Gradient. And all you're gonna do is take the pink that's showing up right here, click and drag it right into the gradient. You're gonna click on the black and just slide it off. You're gonna drag your pink slider all the way to the right. And then where it says the type of gradient, you're just gonna to toggle this down and choose radial. And we are good to go with our background. So we are going to temporarily lock this layer so we don't accidentally move anything. So we're gonna to come to our layers. We're going to lock our background layer and create a new layer. And this layer is going to have all of our elements except for our type on it. So we're going to create our heart first. So a really nice way to create a heart is just by creating a rectangle. So you're just gonna draw out a vertical rectangle. Let me color this a solid dark pink color. And now if I grab these nodes, this only works in Creative Cloud. If you are on an older version, you can go to Effect, Stylize, Round Corners for the same effect. But since we have Creative Cloud right here, it's really easy. You just click on this little node in the corner, click and drag until it gets dark. So it's like a pill shape. Now we're gonna rotate this 45 degrees. So click and as you're dragging, hold Shift and that will automatically snap it to 45 degrees. We're gonna make a copy of this. So hold Alt, click and drag. And while you're dragging, hold Shift to keep it straight. Okay, so now we need to reflect it. So it is opposite this one. So you can just right click, transform, reflect, and then just choose your vertical axis and hit okay. And now you can just slide this over, hold shift while you're dragging, and you're gonna drag it until you find a nice kind of heart shape appearing. Let me zoom in here. You can kind of see I'm getting a heart shape right here. If I go into outline mode, command Y or control Y, you can see this heart forming with the outlines. I think I need to drag it just a little bit more to get the heart that I'm looking for, and that looks good. So I'm gonna exit out of outline mode, command Y or control Y on a PC, and now we just need this part of our heart to remain. We need to chop off these other two parts, so you can select both of these shapes. Come to your Pathfinder palette, and if you don't see it in your menu, you can get to it by going Window Pathfinder, and you're just gonna hit this 
divide icon right here. And then you're gonna ungroup, Command Shift G or Control Shift G on a PC, click anywhere. And now you can select these extra pieces and then just delete them. And now we have our heart, but it's in three different pieces. So we need to unite these all together. So select each one, hold Shift to select them all. And then just hit this Unite icon right here. All right, we have our heart, but now we need it to be centered within our layout. I actually can make this a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so in order to center it, we can actually base it off of this panel of our card, but we don't wanna include the bleed when we do that. So we're gonna temporarily unlock our background layer. So unlock it, grab this shape, and you're just going to drag it into the artboard size right here. And then you're going to hold shift and select your heart. So both of these are selected right now. Without touching any keys on your keyboard, click on the background one more time and you can see you get this nice dark outline on it. And now we can come up here to our align tools and you're gonna click on this horizontal align center and it will snap the heart to the center of the background panel. So we're just gonna do that. And now it's snapped right in the middle. And now we can just click anywhere to deselect. We're gonna drag this back out where it needs to be and we can relock our background layer. But now we know that our heart is perfectly centered within this panel. So now you're going to make sure your heart layer is selected because this is the layer we're gonna bring all those florals in on. So we need to make sure that it's selected, that it's not a locked layer over here. So I'm just going to come to my finder and I can drag them in. Since I already know the ones that I'm going to be using, I don't necessarily have to go file place. I can actually drag them straight into here. So I already know that I want Floral Laurel 04 in the blue orange color. And then I want Floral Laurel 02 in the blue orange color. And then I also want floral bouquet number three in the blue orange color. All right, so now we can start working with these florals. So obviously we have a bunch of them and they're way too big, so we're gonna scale them all down universally. So I'm gonna select them all and reduce the size of them proportionally. And now I can start rotating them and rescaling them around my heart. So I know I want this one to sit right up in the corner and I want it to be on top of the heart. These other two I want to be behind the heart. So I can rotate these around where I want them. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna scale this one up a little bit. And all I have to do is hit Command or Control, open bracket, and that can send it behind the heart, just like that. Just tap it a couple of times and it'll move right to the back. So I'm gonna rotate this one and then I'm gonna bring this bottom one in right here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I want this one to also be behind the heart. So command or control open bracket and that'll pop it right back there. All right, so this is looking good. It feels a little bit small overall to me. So I think I'm gonna scale everything up universally. So select everything and then you can hit shift option or shift alt on a PC and scale everything up from the center point so nothing moves, my orientation remains, which is really important and that's looking good. Okay, so now we just need to add our text and then we will be all set and then we can save it out so it's totally print ready and we can construct our greeting card. So I'm going to lock this layer because as I'm working with the type, I don't wanna accidentally move any of these florals around. So I'm gonna lock this layer, create a new layer just for my text and I'm going to use my font skinny jeans for it. And I have a caps version and a script version. So I'm gonna start with the caps first and I'm just gonna type out, hey, and scale this up a little bit. Let's make it this light pink color. And then I'm going to select the script and type out lovely. I'm also gonna scale this one up because my hey can tuck right into that negative space right there and I can make it this light pink color. And this font also comes with a bunch of bonuses and one of those bonuses is an alternate Y. So I can end my word um, kind of fancy and I can just choose it right here by highlighting it and now I've got a special Y at the end that adds a little more personality to everything. And now that I've got my text all locked up the way that I want, I can group it together and then just rescale it to fit my heart right here. I wanna make sure everything fits in here. All right, so that looks good. Everything looks centered and now we can save it. So first and foremost, make sure that you save this as an Illustrator file. That way you can come back later and change anything that you want to. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, 
And now we're gonna save this as a printable PDF so we can give ourselves trim marks so once this is all printed out, we know where to trim the card. And if I turn off my guide right now, I can hit, do that by hitting Command semicolon or Control semicolon on a PC. And you can see I kind of have a guideline right here for the center as well for when I'm folding it. I also know that it's right in the middle and it's at five inches. So I can go File, Save As, and this time you wanna make sure that you choose PDF right here in this dropdown and hit save. And when your PDF dialog box pops up, you can uncheck preserve Illustrator editing capabilities for a smaller file size. I know that PDFs sometimes, especially when you're using graphics that you bring in, like these watercolor florals, it can make your file size a little larger than maybe you prefer. So if you ever need to reduce the size of a PDF, this is your quickest, best option. Just uncheck this little checkbox right here. As long as you have an Illustrator file already saved somewhere, you won't need to come back and have those Illustrator editing capabilities in your PDF anyway, so you might as well make a smaller file size. And it won't affect the resolution of your outcome either, so it's a really nice little trick. All right, so we need to add in those trim marks. So come over here to Marks and Bleeds, hit Trim Marks, and make sure Use Document Bleed Settings down here is checked, and then hit Save PDF and hit OK. And now we're going to open it up and check it out. Okay, so this is our card all ready to print out and trim down, and this can be printed on any eight and a half by 11 or A4 size paper, and you'll be good to go. And you've got these trim marks right here, so just align a ruler with them and trim it down. And once again, this will fit in any A7 sized envelope. The final size of the card is five by seven, or you can also print this out and just hit fit to page if you'd like to create a smaller size grading card really quickly. So that is how to create a watercolor florals Valentine's Day card in Illustrator from Scratch. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and be sure to hit the link in the video description to have access to that free watercolor florals mini kit. I also have a fully written version of this tutorial if needed. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. My handle is at every Tuesday and head on over to my blog every hyphen Tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.